So for the past few months, I've been skimming through different effects and videos on several different social media platforms to see if there are any effects that I can break down and recreate for you guys. So I stumbled upon this one a couple weeks ago and thought it was really cool and at the same time really really easy to do. So today I'm going to show you guys how to easily shoot this and edit this in post. So if you guys want to see more of these type of tutorials, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button so that whenever I post a new tutorial like this one here, you guys will be notified. A big shout out to Motion VFX for sponsoring this video. If you're looking for the best plugins for Final Cut Pro 10 and Motion, then you definitely need to check out MotionVFX.com. I've been using their products for about five years now, and I definitely highly recommend them. Motion VFX is the most advanced company with hundreds of plugins that work well with the all new M1 Apple computers. So throughout this video, you'll be seeing some nice visual pop-ups, which is part of their M Channel Modern plugin. If you're looking to grab a plugin for yourself, make sure to use my discount code PRIMETIME to get 10% off your purchase. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description down below. So just by watching this video here created by Gakuyan, sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, it seems like they took a few different clips in the same location and just had their subject move to different spots in the frame. It also seems like each one was morphing into the next scene. I know Final Cut has a built-in effect that looks pretty similar to what they did here so we're gonna try it out and see how that turns out. So I will be shooting this vertically with a tripod. You can shoot it horizontally or vertically, all the steps will be exactly the same. Now shooting this is very simple. The first thing you're gonna need to do is find a spot to shoot it. I'll just be doing it in the office but I also set up a few lights around the room just so it doesn't look dull and boring. I left the focus setting on my camera to just auto so that it can just automatically capture me while I move and get my shots. I shot one continuous clip instead of multiple ones just to make things a lot easier. So I did three different poses for the camera similar to the example that I showed you guys earlier. I suggest about three to four seconds for each pose and with each new pose try to get a little bit closer to the camera. So editing this piece will be super, super easy as well. First thing I did was create a vertical project that was 1080 by 1920. Then you're going to take that long clip that you recorded earlier and put it on the project timeline. Now with that clip selected, head over to the inspector tab and adjust the rotation and scale so that it fits the frame. I set rotation to negative 90 and scale around 180%. Once you're done that, you're going to cut out the parts of the clip that you want to use in the effect. And you're going to do this using the blade tool. You can just delete the clips in between since you won't be needing them anymore. You can resize each clip to make them longer or shorter. I suggest to have them around half a second long so that you can make them quick and snappy. But honestly, it's really up to you. Now you will need to look for the flow effect in the effects tab and drag it in between each of your clips. Now you're going to highlight everything, right click and create a compound clip. This will just organize your timeline and put everything together. Once you're done that, you can copy and paste that as many times as you want, depending on how long you want it to be. Then you will just need to place the flow effect again in between each of those clips. Now one last time you're going to highlight all the clips again, right click and create another compound clip. Then under the effects tool, add handheld to add a little bit more movement to your video. Now you're going to color grade it and find a track that you like and you are good to go. So the cool thing with this effect is you can do it with different objects as well. Editing it will be the exact same way as well. Now here's one that I did with different cameras and I had each of them just morph into the next one. As you guys can see, everything just depends on how creative you can get with it. Thanks for watching guys and thanks again to Motion VFX for sponsoring this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next video. Straight to the stage, they love me. love me I understand they hungry But please don't hate, that's ugly